So what do you call it when you want to play an old school Nintendo game and you're not going to let anything get in your way? I call that Earthbound and Determined. <laughs> so I thought, hey, let's play some Earthbound. It's a fun ass game. So, let's see, what kind of windows? Let's do this strawberry, the most manly color ever. Now, I'm gonna name these characters at, well, I'll I'll keep this guy, I think I'll keep him as Ness, cause, cause everybody knows who Ness is. Or, well, a lot of people know who Ness is. But he has a jumping animation, I've never seen him have that before. Oh boy, based on what you can do, I have the perfect name for you. There we go. You, let's see. There. Who should this be? Oh, I, I know, I know someone who's really hard-headed. You know what, I, I, I think they'll like that I am naming them. I'm giving their name to this character. Name my pet. What will be, be a good pet name? I don't have any regrets. My favorite homemade food. Hmm. I almost wish I could call up my mom right now and be like, Mom. Oh, I know. How about... There we go. It's pasta. It's a delicious. What is my favorite thing? You know what? I like naps. So I'm going to name the thing that lets me have good naps. Coolest thing is bed. Alright. Ooh. Got creepy things happen here. What could it be? The year is 1990X. Which in Roman numerals would mean it's 19,910. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. On it. A small town in Eagle Land. Or won it. I don't know. You know, it's kind of ironic. I have this new capture card and I'm using it to play a uh, NES game on Wii U. Ness's house. I too nod when I sleep. Well. By the way, sorry for being gone for so many months, everybody. School got in the way, and I wanted a capture card, and I kept forgetting, and the summer just sucked. But hopefully I'm, I'm back for good now. Eight minutes. And wake you up. No, I'm pretty sure they have the house shaking like, you know, like a meteor hit it. Did it. Oh, look, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to take this present. Let's see. Can I put things? I can. Take that cracked bat. Look at all of them weapon slots. Yeah, we so these are our starting stats for right now. Here's where you can go see everything that you got for your character. Let's equip goods. Your characters can hold, I think, what twenty things per character, which kind of gets bogged down after a while. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to my audience. Jeez, don't get all up in my face, game. Hmm. Hello. Alright, now it's him, a little. Yes. But, Mom! Okay. Why did I have to go stand by my bed to do that? Like, I realize I'd have to go back in my room, but they make it look like I just got out of bed. I'm not asleep because I have to record. These sounds, these sounds aren't creepy at all. Oh, hey, there's a person here. I don't know, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Hold the police are infamous for closing roads if something's going on. They're going for the world record. Don't panic, it's just a what? A meteorite that... Who? It fell. I just wanna... What? Go home. Well... 
sucks to be you, because my home's right there. And I'm not letting you in, because you can't say a complete sentence cor correctly. You're the Big Bang. Now, that was a few billion years before my time. I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. And he's going to try to be the first to get there by not even moving. No mail for them. Hello? Oh boy, it's you. Who are you? Well, my Pokemon my brother ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Home dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Oh, okay. Picky and Pokey. Wow, man, these kid, these parents didn't I'm just like, hey, you know, let's not give in their kids like, you know, good sounding names. Let's make them sound freaking weird. Now, I mean, I realize Ness isn't, you know, that much more common, but, you know, I'd, I'd like to think my point's still valid. Alright. So, let's see if we can go and try and, and, and see this meteorite. I, I don't remember where I go here. Well, I am an idiot. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto. No, don't, don't, don't make sure I go do it or anything. You guys landed. The sharks are running wild in town. It's a Sharknado. No. Not another one. You kids wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Well, I'm hungry too. You don't see me complaining about it. Yet. Dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you to go, it won't stop you. Well, I mean, you're kind of a cop. You know. You could, like, alert my parents or something. Hey, you, don't you know what time it is? Tool time, Ben for Tools is proud to present him the Tool Man Taylor. Hey, we get that present now. A bread roll! Hooray, I'm hungry. Well, I don't know, maybe Ness is hungry. You never see him really eat anything, he just kind of stands there. Who are you? Hey, nice, hi, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I was talking about my, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. My real job, you know, I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? This is a dude, Wario, just like I eat garlic. Treasure hunter, this is... Liar X Paul's house. That meteorite looks different than usual. Yes, because I, that makes you wonder how many meteorites strike this place. Oh, I forgot to read his text, whatever. Oh, hey. What's going on here? He's in my pokey. He's driving me nuts. No. Hello? Hey, Nets. Don't you be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Um, I don't entirely remember. Shut up, Pokey! God, I don't care, you stupid tubble art. I honestly forgot what I'm supposed to do here. Hello? I have scooted off to bed? Later that night. I didn't know that's what I was supposed to do. I have a really bad memory. I don't remember what I did the first time I played this. Or at least this part. Oh, there's knocking. Hey, quit playing drums with the door. I'm on my way down. Why don't you answer it? Oh god, what do you want? Hey, listen to what I gotta say. I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Snicker. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, they're the local ruffians, and they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. 
I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend, won't you help me find? Yeah, whatever. Should take Luma along. Dang it! I almost escaped. Do -do -do -do. Sweet. I'll be fine, thank you. Okay. Come here, you. Alright, Luma, come with me. Pokey joins you, right? What? At my house, my dad gets bent if I don't get the phone. I think this is one of the only times you actually hear a dialogue or some kind of thought from Ness himself. Where's your exhaustion when you're young? Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during the adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposit $30 into your bank account. Do you have any your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Whoa! Slam beat. It's like he swore at me. Why, Dad? Why? Alright, I got Pogi with me and I got Luma. Hopefully, like, Luma just doesn't die to someone running at me. That's how he dies. In oh. So here we have our first fight. And, I don't know, maybe you might notice that this kind of looks a bit like Undertale. I think Undertale got a bit of... It's, uh... Took a bit of inspiration from this. At least in the... This game is weird as all crud factor. Wait a minute. Runaway dog. Oh, Runaway Dog, never mind. I thought it was... never mind. Hooray, we won. We're level two. Life up Alpha. Alright, now, if we want to see what that is, you'll notice we have the, P, the, the PSI. And then, so, uh, to one of us, that's for one of the party, because we'll get multiple party members, as you saw. What that means, then, is we can see what that does. I'm going here. Recover. So this, when we use it, will restore about 100 life to one person. But it'll cost 5 of my PP, which means I can only use it twice. And until later in the game, it gets, it's really annoying to try and heal. Or try and get back your, uh, your mana, your power points. You know, PP, whatever. So let's go to see that meteorite. Oh. Hello, bird. I think we will go see the bird, and then we will end this episode. What? That jerk stole my food. But you didn't leave the present. That's my freaking cookie. Dang it. Um... You're too slow! Oh no, come on. Well, that's what I get. So, much earlier than I had anticipated, this is what it's like when you die. I'm just gonna edit ahead to when I get to the meteorite. Oh wait, I get it, liar, exaggerate. Oh my god. Oh, oof. If I knew it was gonna be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Well, that's that's Luma for you. Leaving us pretty soon after you get him. 
Alright. Or her. I don't know. Alright. Hello? Caution. There's still lots of fires burning around here. It's hot. Wow. Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. I'm glad you're okay, Lisa. Let's go home now. But Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez. Sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Well, it looks like Pokey's the real big brother. I mean, look at him. Holy crap. Okay, well. Miss. Can I feel me falling around? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, hello? But B, I am not. I'm from ten years in the future. And, in the future, all is devastation. Gaius? Gigas? Yagas? Paul, the Universal Cosmic Destroyer. Hear that, Mal? You're not the Universal Cosmic Everything anymore. Sent all the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there's a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the Chosen Boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the Nightmare Rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Dots. Paul's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Paul. Three things are of utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. I don't think there's a Triforce piece for that last one. The legend from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Paul. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness, like editing this video. You listen to what I told you, yeah, huh? Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Okay. Yes, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble these times. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Well, probably because you're freaking overweight as crap, you freaking evil bad guy turd monster face. Whoa! Hey, I know you. You're an assist trophy. Been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You have, you've been successful at foiling Master Paul's plans. But Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You are no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Oh, we get a new transition now. The Starman Jr. Psy Shield Epsilon. Ooh, one. Sorry, Shield Epsilon. Damn! Oh, B thing just wrecked his face. Starman's face. Holy crud. Phew, I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me. So we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Paul. As well as humans who have evil thoughts. So, all of you, the humanity then, I guess. It'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Paul's influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Oh, I'll get that there was more. Okay, so, um, do we go this way now? Oh, okay, fine, whatever. 
Yeah, that's great. Just going coming home with a fly buzzing around me. I'm sure my mom won't care. Oh my god! It's like female Joker, but bigger. Hi, the family living in store. We'll loan, we've loaned your father a lot of money. May have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Oh, I think it's a dung beetle. Smash your guts out. Oh, wow. Man. Oh, hold on. Ah. Uh. Oh. I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Paul, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near one it, or on it. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Alright, you are a very intelligent young man, and... Oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. Erg, gasp. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the sound stone. You can record the melodies from your eight sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? Yes, let's be a dick. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh... Oh, I thought he would have died. Do, 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 do. Oh, crud, I've been recording for nearly 40 minutes. This video is going to be long, it is all crud. Nah. It's already done outside, it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Our gasp. Yes, he died. Woohoo! That's <laughs> what so that sound effect is. Alright, well, I'm gonna get out of this this pigsty of a home. Go back to the better home next door. Wow, this sun rose fast! Alright, so here's what we're gonna. Okay. What? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, shave fuzzy pickles. What a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Whee! Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Any other interruptions? No, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna end the episode right here. This has been the beginning of Earthbound, also known as, I believe, Mother 2. So, I will not disappear for several months this time, and thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Have a great evening, and a great weekend.